YouTube, what is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be breaking down the top 5 assault rifles that you need to be using right now in Vanguard multiplayer. Now at this point I've played with all the ARs in the game a fair amount and I've come to the conclusion of the best attachments for everyone and which ones stand out from the rest. And there's definitely a few that you see a lot more people using because they're extremely OP and that's exactly what we're going to be breaking down in this video. So if you do go on to enjoy today's video or find it useful, definitely let me know by dropping a like and comment down below. It is always greatly appreciated and helps out the channel a lot. And of course guys, if you are new around him always posting the best vanguard setups the best warzone class setups tips and tricks call of duty news and more so if that's something you guys are interested in definitely feel free to subscribe to never miss out on a future video so with all that out of the way let's hop right into these top five assault rifle class setups so coming in at the number one spot i'm sure many of you would have expected this and that's the stg now if you guys have used this weapon at all since you've been playing you know it absolutely slaps and the time to kill is very quick on it it's definitely one of the quickest time to kill ars in the game right now and on top of that it has zero recoil so it's very easy to control and keep your aim steady so this class setup specifically is definitely worth giving a go and leveling up if you haven't already and on top of that for an ar this stg has great mobility and the aim down sight speed is also fairly quick so here's what you want to use, the F8 Stabilizer, the M1930 Underbarrel, the VDD760MM Barrel, the 8MM45 Round Mag, the FMJ Rounds for the Ammo Type, the Monocular Reflector for the Optic, Grooves Grip for the Rear Grip, Constance Tactical for the Stock, Sleight of Hand for the Proficiency, and then for the Kit, fully loaded to have that extra ammo. Throw on any secondary you prefer, but for the perks we have Ghost, Forward Intel, and Double Time. For the Lethal we have the Frag, and then for the Tactical we're using the Stim. So moving right along to the number 2 loadout, we have the Bar. Now the bar is definitely a gun that grew on me over time after using it a fair amount. With this weapon I feel like you either love it or you hate it. And that main reason is honestly because it has a very slow fire rate. A lot of the time we're used to these very quick firing guns and the bar just isn't that but it does really pack a punch when you hit your shots. I mean this thing definitely sits right under the STG for the time to kill since it only takes 2-3 to three bullets to really kill your opponent if you're hitting them in the head or the upper torso. And on top of that this thing has zero recoil as well so it's definitely very easy to use and aim with. The only real cons to this class setup is the fact that it doesn't have a very quick fire rate and the mobility is not that great at all but besides that i definitely recommend that you give it a go so here's what you want to use the f8 stabilizer the m1930 underbarrel the cgc27 barrel the 0 .50 30 round mag fmj rounds for the ammo type the g16 two and a half x optic the grooved grip pistol grip custom stock sleight of hand and fully loaded level this thing up and get used to it because i promise you it's deadly for the perks, we got Ghost, High Alert, and Lightweight. For the Lethal, we have the Frag Grenade, and for the Tactical, we have the Stim. So moving on to the number 3 class setup, we have the Automation. Now, this weapon is quite opposite of the bar when it comes to the fire rate. This gun has one of the quickest fire rates in the game, and it's an AR. For those of you that don't know, that's not a very common thing for an AR to have one of the quickest fire rates in the game. It's normally an SMG. But with that being said, I'm definitely not complaining. This thing is a lot of fun to use. It has a great time to kill, no recoil, and it has one of the quickest fire rates in the game, as we just said. So here's what you want to use on it. The F8 Stabilizer, the M1941 Handstop, the 620mm for the barrel, the 8mm rifle for the mag, the incendiary rounds for the ammo type. For the optic, we got the Slate Reflector. For the rear grip, we have the Grooved Grip. For the stock, we have the Zack Skeletal. For the proficiency, we have sleight of hand, and for the kit, we have fully loaded. Definitely don't sleep on this thing, level it up because it destroys right now in multiplayer, and I guarantee when the new Warzone map comes out, this is going to be one of the better guns to be using. So the perks you're going to want to use on this class set are Ghost, Forward Intel, and Lightweight. For the Lethal, we have the Thermite, and then for the Tactical, we're using the Stem Shot. So moving right along to the number 4 spot, we have the NZ41. Now this class setup is an absolute beam, there's no other way to put it. This thing doesn't have any recoil, and it's very easy to control. This thing definitely performs performs best at long and medium range gunfights, but it can even get the job done from up close if you're hitting all your shots. The time to kill with it is also fairly quick, you're just going to want to aim for the head and the upper torso as you should be anyway. The mobility overall is alright, it is a heavy AR so you got to keep that in mind, so here's what you want to use on it. The F8 Stabilizer, the M1930 Underbarrel, the LOR MK1 Burst Barrel, the 6.5mm 45 round mag, FMJ for the ammo type, the Monocular Reflector for the optic, the Grooved Grip, the Orb Weaver E-Pack for the stock, brace for the proficiency, and fully loaded for the kit. For the perks on this class setup, we got Ninja, Forward Intel, and Lightweight. For the lethal, we got that Thermite, and then for the tactical, we're using the Stim Shot. So moving right along to our fifth and final loadout, we have the Volk. Now this loadout is definitely very interesting, but it gets the job done. This loadout performs great at long, medium, and close range, so it doesn't really have any weaknesses to it. Evidently, it takes some time to get used to the gun and level it up to get the right attachments, but I can assure you, once you throw these on, you're going to be destroying your opponents. With that being said, the time to kill is fairly quick. There 
there is barely any recoil to this setup, but the minimal recoil that it does have is easy to control. The mobility is all right for an AR, it gets the job done, and the aim down sight speed is fairly quick for an AR as well, so that also helps. So for the class setup, we're using the Mercury Silencer, the M3 Ready Grip, the 428mm barrel, the 8mm 60 round mag, lengthened for the ammo type, the ISO 3V for the optic, the rubber grip for the rear grip, the S12 V PS for the stock, slide of hand for the proficiency, and for the kit we have fully loaded. You're definitely going to want to give this class setup a go, so level it up. For the perks on this class, we got Ghost, Forward Intel, and Lightweight. For the Lethal, we have the Frag, and for the Tactical, we're using the Stem. So there you guys have it. These are the top 5 Assault Rifle class setups that you need to be using right now in Vanguard Multiplayer. I definitely recommend that you unlock them all and level them all up and use these class setups because you will not regret it whatsoever. Also, let me know down in the comments below which one of these is your favorite and which one you've been using the most. I'm curious to find out. So with all that being said, if you guys did go on to enjoy today's video or found it useful, definitely let me know by dropping a like and comment down below. It helps the YouTube algorithm push my content out to a lot more viewers. And of course, guys, if you are new around here, I'm always going to be posting the best Warzone class setups, the best Vanguard class setups, tips and tricks, gameplays, and more. So if that's something you guys are interested in, definitely feel free to subscribe to never miss out on a future video. With that, thank you for watching today's video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.